This is uh, the tester I made on, based on the rat tester by Steve Bench. I'll just run through the uh, the front panel controls, then we'll have a look on the top and uh, have a look at the switches and controls on the top. So bottom corner down here, we've got uh, anode volts, anode volts control, screen volts, screen volts control, uh, filament volts, heater cathode short LED, filament good LED, lights up if the filament's good, doesn't light up obviously if the filament's bad. Uh, function switch and current limit switch, so 50 milliamps current limit or 100 milliamps and a rectifier test function. The GM meter which has got uh, two scales, uh, 0 to 3 and 0 to 5 milliamp per volts. Gas button for testing for gas indicates on the meter. A uh, digital panel meter for the grid bias volts, two ranges 20 to 200. Uh, volts and the anode current um, indicator, digital panel meter, 20 milliamps full scale or 200. Um, now you would think that you wouldn't need the 20 milliamp scale uh, on a digital panel meter, but when you've got small triodes like your 12AX7 with only 1.2 milliamps, uh, it does help to be able to go down to 20 full scale um, for a bit more accurate reading. This control is a constant current sink control um, that allows current to flow through the valve and let the valve find its own bias much the same way as a cathode biased uh, preamp valve like a 12AX7 so we'll go along the top have a look what's on the top panel these uh, all along the front here they're all pre-wired for common audio valves like 12AX7 EL84, 12AX7, EL34, 6V6, um, twin triodes, the octal twin triodes, 6SN7, uh, four pin triodes, directly heated, um, seven pin like 6AU6. This button here is a short button that shorts the filament to the cathode, uh, used mainly for this if you've got a directly heated triode. Um, with directly heated triodes the filament is actually the cathode so normally there's no connection between the filament and the cathode on this tester so that's why you've got to provide this button to um, to actually get a cathode connection through to the filament uh, here I've got uh, nine thumb wheel switches these switches then set the uh, the voltages for these up here so you can actually dial in any valve um, so it's not just limited to these pre-wired ones the side one, side two switch here is for your twin triodes, triode pentodes like your 6GW8 or your 12AX7. You can test one side then the other without resetting the switches. So that's about it for the top panel. Now I'll just get the camera back down and I'll go through and we'll just test a couple of uh, valves and I'll show you how it works. I've got, I've got here a... Uh, uh, ex-military 6v6 now I bought these allegedly as brand new um, which they do test as new so we'll soon see so this is pre-wired for uh, your power output pentodes like your EL34 your 6v6 set the filament volts to 6 and turn on and let it let the valve warm up now the data book settings for a 6v6 is minus 12 volts minus 12 and a half bias 45 milliamps um, anode current and 250 and 250 on the screen and the anode so we'll just get my hand out the way we go 250 on the uh, anode 250 on the screen and then we take this one up until we hit 12 volts. So with 12 volts uh, bias and 250 on the screen on the anode, we should get 45 mil, uh, 45 mil anode uh, current. So 12.4, we've got 47 milliamps. And on the GM meter we've got here 4 point, well it's not quite 4.5, 4.2. So that's pretty good, that's, I would say, a brand new valve which is what I bought 
So we'll try another one. So I've got a well used ex military. This is another 6v6. The uh, locating pin's been broken off, busted off, but it will still work okay. So, I'll let him warm up for a bit. So we go 250 again, and 250. And 12 and a half volts bias. Now with 12 and a half volts bias, you notice we don't have 45 milliamps, we've only got 28, a bit over 28. Now, I guess that's up to the individual operator to decide whether that's uh, good or bad. I would say at 28, that's not bad. If we get a calculator out, and we've got 28 divided by 45, well, it's around 58%, nearly 60%. So a lot of people would consider that good. So we'll keep going until we get the 45 milliamps. So you'll notice even though the valve is not good and we need eight minus eight volts on the bias to get 45 milliamps um, it's still plenty serviceable that valve would sound uh, perfect uh, perfectly all right in your fender and we'll just test for gas you'll notice that the meter here doesn't move at all so no gas now I'll try a different, a different type of valve. What have I got? I've got a, where is it? I've got a 6SN7 here. So this is also second hand. I don't know if it's well used. No. Turn it on. Let it warm up. Now, 6SN7 is uh, the octal equivalent of a 6CG7 twin triode, I do believe. So we're looking for minus 8 volts on the bias and 250 volts on the anode, and we should get around 9 milliamps of anode current. So, I'll just switch down to a lower range there. So what do we got? 8 volts and 8.62. Well that's not too far off of 9 milliamps and the GM should be 2.6 Well, I've got just a fraction off of 2.5. So I would say that's a pretty healthy valve. Now if we want to test the other side, that is a twin triode, flip the side switch over to the other side. And you see that the anode current and the bias doesn't switch, doesn't change much at all. It's pretty evenly matched. Okay. And lastly, what have I got? Oh, you do this one. This is a... Uh, this is an oldie, probably from the 30s, um, type 26 triode, directly heated. So, end of the four pin socket, and I think the filament is one and a half volts, so I'll just switch down to one and a half. Fire up. Now, you can get your, your test data out of, you can get it out of something like this, your mini watt technical data book, if you've got one, or even one of these. These are available, you can pick these things up on eBay. Uh, or this is freely available on the internet. 
um, I just downloaded the PDF file and took it down to Officeworks and got them to print and bind it. I think it was only about eight bucks. So it's pretty good value. So the data in the, for the 26 is 150 volts on the anode. And we're looking for a bias of about minus 10 volts. So I need to press that to make the connection for the cathode. Minus 10 volts, and we've got 4.75 milliamps. So according to the AVO book, we should have 5 milliamps at minus 10 volts and a GM of uh, 1. Well, I've got a GM of just a fraction under 1. Uh, minus 10 volts and 4.7, so that's pretty good. That's a pretty healthy valve too. So there you have it.